Good morning, good evening everyone, this is Flair and welcome back to another episode of Runas. Last time, I can't quite recall what happened last time, only it was kind of bad. No. Never mind that, it's time for a new run. I'm going to go with a standard loadout here, and maybe... Well, I've never used Blessing of the Fairy. Hmm. Maybe all the Curse of the Vampire. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Blessing the Genie, maybe? Curse the Spirit? Let's take that one for a change. There we go. Yeah. So if I sound a little bit more mellowed out. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, it's quite late when I'm recording now. I'm not feeling too much like talking. But, well. I'll try and keep it as entertaining as I can, and who knows, maybe this will actually be a good run. I hope it is. So, we're in the mines to start with, I see. Also, I had no idea what the uh, blessing or curse? It's Curse of the Spirit, okay. I've never seen it, uh, well, I've never seen it before because I've never used it. At least not that I can recall. I might use it once or twice, but uh, it's never been as appealing as a continual and reliable source of crits, but uh, still kind of fun to use. And I mean, if we can... Hey, there's water in. Nice. I'm dodging these... Watch this. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew it. I was going to say I'm dodging these um, fire bolts rather well, and just right in the middle of that sentence I thought one of them's going to hit me now, and it did. Uh, knew that was going to happen. Hmm. I suppose if we can get a lot of... Hmm. I'm wondering how to best utilise this curse. Because it's every... Uh, Spellcasts gather energy, and I think it's every 30 seconds of cooldowns is what it said. So, would that be better? For hmm, having a lot of very heavy long cooldown spells to use on a kind of semi continual rotation, or would it be better to have a lot of very fast firing ones that mean I can get to that state more regularly? Hmm. I'm leaning towards the latter personally. But uh, we'll see what happens, I suppose. Oh, damn it, he got me. Okay. Get out of the way. Oh, we've got a few rooms to start ourselves off with, that's good. So, we've got water, fire, dark, light. <laughs> Seems we've got all the opposites going. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, ha only having one spell does kind of mean that we're not building up the charge very fast, but uh, yeah. I don't reckon it'll be too bad. Hey, and then air room as well. What was that? That oh, was a health pack. Okay. Let's break these. This last one. Okay. What's over here then? Storage room. Break everything we can see. Oh, weren't a bit too far to the left there. Boop. Boop. Okay. Oh, shouldn't have run to the right though. Well, I was just running into the jaws of those rats. Best to move to the left. Okay, there's our phased for, what was it a second? Hmm. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it'd be a better idea to go with a kind of fast cooldown build so that they happen on a more regular basis. Break this guy. And finally, this floating brain. There we go. Oh, and there's our exit too. Let's break these boxes. 
What do we have? Ooh, double combiner, yes. Let's keep exploring. Oh, nope, not tab. So, what can we make here? Hmm, creatable spells. Hmm, water and light. I can't remember what that is. Well, that's got bullet duration on it. And we do need a second spell. Ah, crystal sphere. I remember you. Launches a crystal sphere that bounces around and explodes after a few seconds. Let's cool down one second. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe I should buff the corruption spell as well. Yeah, why not? Let's head off to the right here. It does a fair amount of damage as well. And I think that's going to really help our Curse of the Spirit kick in a lot faster. Especially if we can land this crystal sphere right inside a kind of hollow. That's going to do a lot of damage. See, just like that. Boom. <laughs> Doesn't have to bounce around a lot though, good grief. <laughs> it's actually knocking the rats out of the way, so... Perhaps not necessarily as useful against them, but... Uh... Powerful nonetheless. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. Speed rune. Cool. Uh, let's... Bullet speed. Well, that increases the damage on that. I think that'd be good. Ooh. A slow burn. And slow burn adds... Doesn't add bonus damage, I don't think, yet. Not with only one level. Can't remember. Just messed it right in there. There we go. I'm liking the damage of Crystal Sphere right there. Oh! He just straight in his face. And a couple of air runes for our trouble as well. Cool. Means if we happen, pos happen across the spawning pits room, we'll be able to get that sorted out fairly easily. The health pack we picked up there, I think. Let's just try and nestle that right in there. There we go. Let's quickly break all these. Okay. Where to go next? I think down here to the left. Hello rats, hello entropy mages. Oh. Try and get up how the wild's going and do even more damage if possible. There we go. Is he tough? He seems like he might be a tough tough fellow. There we go. Okay, what do we have? Evasion? Doctor, Grizzly Intellect, and Earthborn. We're going to take a level of Doctor straight away. Let's pick that up while we're here. So that's going to make us all the more survivable. And I like that. Okay. Ew. Trying to nestle this in here is not working. Hmm. That's probably going to be a lot easier to aim if I ever come across a bullet speed down aura in a room. Let's that right in there. There we go. Another dark room. Awesome. What's in here? Living statues. Hmm. I don't think so could crash it. I've been wondering since the last time we saw that event and uh, we noticed that every time we entered the room a new set of all the statues of all the enemies in the room were created. I was wondering if we could avoid trouble that by just immediately dealing with the room there and then but I don't really want to find out. Not while well recording, anyway. Because it could turn out badly and corrupt things and stuff. And that wouldn't be fun for anyone, would it? Okay. 
Right there, stay there. Damn. Okay. Mind drone, very cool. Hey, a couple of mama callers. They're gonna pop very fast. Oh, and a champion. She's tough, okay. Oh, we've got the spells to sort her out. Just stick it ahead of her. I always forget how damaging Crystal Sphere is as a spell, but it really is. Very powerful indeed. Okay, just stay right there. Let's get up how the wild's up as well. Come on, die. There we go. Hmm. Which buff spells apply a stacking slow? I forget. Oh, damn, this one's gonna be a annoying one. There we go. Hmm. I was sure there was one. I know if we get lucky on a level up, we'll get Trapper. Which I personally wouldn't mind taking, because it would mean a loss of 10% of our total damage, but it would give our bullets a 5% slow for each hit. And I'm kind of in. That seems like a good idea to get on Crystal Sphere, because of. Uh, because it does such a wide AoE. Get rid of him. There we go. Nice. And we're out. Nothing left for us. Good. To floor two. <laughs> oh, so I thought we could skip the loading for a second. My bad. Okay. Let's. Eh. I'll destroy that later if we need to. For the moment, we don't. Oh, hell. Look at all these freaking swarmers. That is going to be less than useful considering they stick so tightly to us. Oh no you don't, Sodder. I almost let him get away. That would not have been good for my mood. Okay. Another double combiner. And lots of different rooms. Let's see what we can make. Undiscovered doubles. Ooh, um Dark and Mind. Yes, let's do that. Ooh, especially with that one. Let's see, bullet size and cooldowns, bullet duration, cooldowns... Oh wow, yeah, doing that. Dark Manifestation. <laughs> ah. Shoots a dark bullet that cannot collide with anything until it manifests. Manifests after travelling a percent of its total distance. Very powerful. Um, I will switch that out for corruption, for the time being. Um, it's going to mean... it's actually going to pair quite well, because we've got a fairly long-range build here with Crystal Sphere in any case, because obviously the further away I can get with Crystal Sphere, the easier it'll be to judge where it'll land. And, well, Dark Manifestation just does a butt-ton of damage, so... Oh, I should have... really would have liked to have gotten... Come on, stupid bats. There we go. Well, I can still use Corruption mode for a close range spell. Maybe we should do that. And it'll actually help get us phased faster as well. And if I can get some more mind runes, that'll uh, really help it stop. Oh, slow down, you utter bastard of a wind hunter. There we go. Finally got him. Yikes. Okay. Land that right in there. Dark Manifestation is quite handy when you're trying to get at an enemy that's deep in the pack of another set, because it does literally go through everything else, and you can kind of snipe it. It's very useful if you wanted to make a sniper kind of build. I 
think we got him. Nice. Okay, now to just get rid of all these. Phew. Thought that bastard was gonna get away. Oh, stupid skeleton. I did quickly stomp on him. Okay, now we just got a couple of shrines. Thought there was another bandit around. Okay. So, a lot of Molten Knights, Fire Imps, and Entropy Mages. Hmm. Get rid of as many of these as we can from a far distance. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, what do we have for our next level? Battle Hardened. Uh, reduce the effect of room auras, static skin, after getting hit uh, eight times, shoot all that nearby enemies with electricity, collect a maniac, on pick of items, lower your cooldowns by two and a half seconds. Let's get another level of Doctor. That's uh, it's a bit dull, I'll grant you, but it's going to really help. That's going to be very sustainable for us, for our health. Come on, get away. Okay, nice. We got rid of the. Hit as many of the skeletons as we can. Nuts. Almost had that last one as well, but nah, no luck. But at least we got that Dark Spirit. Oh, damn, I didn't need to hit that immediately. Okay. It'd be nice if we get some more mind runes. I'd like to. Decrease the time that's. Um, decrease the manifestation time. Let's grab some dark levels and keep exploring. Okay, oh, that's gonna be good. And just land that right in the middle of them. And go, go, power the wilds. There we go. Come on, there, finally, there we go, right, what do we have in here, storage room, mind room, nice, whoa, what just happened? Um, I'm not entirely sure what just happened there, I think... Let me try that again. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. Um... I'm gonna have to... I think my runas has decided to kind of, uh... Things have started not going well. Um, uh oh. Yeah, this isn't good. Um, it's continually going. Whenever I'm pressing a tab or escape, it's going straight to my desktop or something else like that. So I'm gonna actually have to save and exit right here and uh, end the episode as well. So. My name's been Flair, this has been Runas, bugging out horribly. Um, if you've enjoyed the episode, that's a big if, uh, feel free to leave it a like. If you haven't, I'll leave it a dislike. If, the, if that doesn't encapsulate things, tell me in the comments. I'd love to read them. And if you enjoy anything else that I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a ton, motivate me, and I'd love to have you all along on this little adventure of YouTube of mine. Okay, I'll see you next time when we go to floor 3 and hopefully Runas will stop being all hissy-fitty. Bye everyone!